In this video, we're going to talk about the basics of how to email from Smokeball. It's important that you want to email directly, at least starting in Smokeball, because that ensures that every email is automatically going to be saved to the matter, as well as any response from your client. So the first thing I need to do is just go ahead and get to the matter that I didn't want to send an email from. I'm working on a civil dispute for this just video in this example, and I'm going to click on the email button on the action bar. What Smokeball is going to do is pull up the relevant parties that are, are for this matter. I can double click and just add a specific person. If I were to scroll down, I might be able to, maybe I want to CC one of my colleagues in the firm as well. And by clicking next, because we integrate with Microsoft Outlook, what you notice is it open up an actual email. If I had a signature in my Outlook, you'd see that down here as well. It pulled in my regarding line, and I'm ready to compose that email. When I go ahead and click attach, at the very bottom here, it allows me to actually attach a specific document. And I can even take a Word document and convert it to a PDF. I can also, from this screen, combine multiple files into one PDF. So I'm just going to take the one document, I'm going to attach it. In this case, Smokeball is converting it to a PDF for me, which is pretty convenient. It's going to save me a little bit of time. I know I'm in the Larry Wilson matter because I see the Larry Wilson uh, matter under the Smokeball toolbar here and Outlook. I can go ahead and type my message and I click send. What's nice about that is that email is going to be saved directly to Smokeball. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to scroll up a little bit here with this and change my view. I'm only looking at documents, but if I change it to emails and documents, what you'll notice is here's my email I just sent to my client Larry Wilson. What's nice is when Larry Wilson gets that email and he replies to that email, that response automatically goes back to my document section or specifically into Smokeball in the appropriate matter. But more commonly, if you do get an email that comes in from a client or you're trying to you're new to Smokeball and you're trying to import a variety of different emails, what I would need to do is just come to Outlook. And you can see I have a variety of different emails here. To simply tag an email or get it to Smokeball, I'll click on this one. You'll notice the Smokeball toolbar here at the bottom. All you would need to do is just start typing. And then it's going to pull up all the different matters I have in Smokeball. And now I've tagged this email and any responses back and forth. If I did want to tag one email and maybe it has an attachment, so you can see this is a blank email but it has an attachment, I could come down to the toolbar and click on Wilson. Um, and what it's going to do this time, though, is prompt me. And it's saying, hey, there's a, some attachments to this email. You can see there's some images. And the images are probably just from a signature. So Smokeball is recognizing we don't want to save that. Um, and I can call the file whatever I want. And now I've saved not only the email, but I've also saved that attachment. You can go ahead if you wanted to just save the attachment. I could just right click and what you'll notice is that it's still your best friend even when you're in Outlook. You can save it to Smokeball here. Or I can go ahead and I can select multiple emails. So commonly if you're new to Smokeball you probably have a variety of different emails in Outlook and you want to import those into a file. Be aware that if you do have a lot of files or attachments, it could take a little bit longer to upload it into Smokeball based on your internet speed. Just be aware if you're going to upload 10,000 emails all at once, it might slow down things on your computer. So what I would just need to do is I can just select the, the emails I wanted to here. I can also just shift and select all. But you can see I've selected six emails just for this example. I could select more. If I right click, you'll see I have the Smokeball associate emails with a matter. On the bottom left, I, want, I would want to come down here and just double check what are the attachments I want to go ahead and put in the file. So here's an attachment here. I want to add this. I can search for the specific matter. And now when I save, you can see it's assigning all the emails. It's also saving the attachments. If I come back to Word, you can see now I have my different attachments. I'm going to have all the different emails as well that I've saved underneath here. We usually suggest at this point, you see I've saved a lot of emails. I am going to default this view to just my documents. That cleans up this view a little bit. And where I want to manage my emails is up in this email tab. 
What I can do here is kind of like having your own individual email inbox for all the different matters you've been working on. And I can see who I received emails from. I can see who I sent to. I can organize it by date. And I can even go as far as if I go ahead and just click on it, it's going to load a preview at the bottom and include any attachments in that email as well.